Today I want to do a species spotlight on one of the world's smallest fish. I'm also going to do a little bit of an update on my tetra breeding program. Don't go anywhere. What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? Today I want to share with you an awesome species spotlight of the Heterandra formosa, known as the least killy fish. Uh, one of the smallest invertebrates known to science, one of the smallest fish known to science, definitely a true nano fish. We're gonna take a closer look at it and I'll give you guys some facts and information about this fish uh, and just my personal experience with this fish. So this is the tank I'm keeping them in right here. It's a one and a half gallon aquarium. I have a little bit of some water tang, some uh, star grass in here, as well as some leaf litter and a little pile of rocks. I'm really enjoying having these fish. I have to say thank you first off to Jeremy Morell. I met him in, in San Francisco at the San Francisco Bay Aquarium Society. So thank you Jeremy for giving me this group of Heterandra formosa. Um, so these guys are actually a North American native fish. Uh, they are on the red list. They are of least concern at this point, but um, they are a native, uh, a native fish to North America, which is really nice. Uh, they're found in areas of South Carolina, Georgia, uh, Florida, as well as Louisiana. They're uh, kind of a coastal fish. Uh, they've been known to survive in full brackish water conditions. Uh, so I am keeping just a little pinch of salt in this aquarium as well. And so these fish are, are known to science to be one of the smallest fish, one of the smallest invertebrates. Um, they are called a killifish, but they are not a killifish. They're actually in the uh, Pacillid family. They are uh, in the same family as guppy fish, endlers, other live bears, platys. Uh, these uh, fish are a very small fish though. The males get about two centimeters in length. The females get about three centimeters in length. So like other posiliids, the males do have a modified anal fin. They have a gonopodium. Uh, so uh, they're very similar in that respect. The females uh, give birth to just about one or two uh, fry a day when they are pregnant. Kind of very, you know, very similar to uh, an endler. It does seem that these fish enjoy hiding amongst the leaf litter and within the cracks and crevices of the rock pile that I have in here. So I've been feeding these fish a mixed diet. They are getting combination of microworms, live baby brine shrimp, uh, and I do give them a dusting of Hikari first bites as well as uh, a little bit of uh, tetracolored tropical granules in this little um, black pepper grinder. And that pretty much works, that works really well for them. They definitely enjoy the live baby brine shrimp and the microworms, a perfect size meal. Once again, I wanna say thank you to Jeremy Morell for hooking me up with these fish. I am really excited to have them. I look forward to having these fish breed for me and being able to probably offer them to some of you guys in the future. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that species spotlight. Now I just want to go ahead and give you an update of a couple of things I got going on in the fish room and show you uh, the setting up of a new tetra breeding tank. So everything's going good here in the room. The grow out tubs are good. I still need to go ahead and do this tank and uh, rescape it with a bunch of leaf litter. This tank is on the list as well, getting fully rescaped. Those rocks are going away. I'm gonna actually try to make use of this light with a lot more plants. Uh, everything in the racks is doing good right now. Everybody is happy. I've pretty much taken all of my boosts of philandra that I have, all the different species that I had, and they've all gone into my paludarium amongst the waterfall. And I have to say that uh, my boosts of philandras are all super, super happy now that I pulled them out of the water. They're all putting out new leaves like crazy um, out of the water. So that's, that's fun. Uh, and take you into the other room and I'm just show you some of the stuff I got going on. The blue tetras are going crazy like they have been. I have fry in all of the tanks. I have all mixed sizes in all these tanks. They're just colony breeding. This tank here started out with four fish and you can see that there's a lot more than four fish in there and there's probably at least a hundred fry here at the top of the surface. So um, started out with four fish there so my plan here down here on the bottom rack. I went ahead and reset this tank and this is gonna be the next, it's gonna be tank number four, 4.0 of the Tetra breeding program. Uh, so I've just started it with some uh, quarantine plants and I'm just gonna let it cycle for about a week or so. And then I'm going to add a group once again of just four, two males, two females, 
At this point, I'm trying to isolate out just what kind of floating plants I'm using. So this only has frog bit floating at the top, and I'm trying to just keep it frog bit. Um, I've kind of made a collection here. I have three different kinds of duckweed now that I've isolated and found in my fish room, along with azola, and then I have frog bit, and I have water lettuce. So I've, I've actually been kind of collecting uh, floating plants, which I really do enjoy. Most people hate duckweed, but I enjoy my floating plants. Uh, now this tank, I have uh, just some red cherry shrimp that have kind of gone a little wild down here at the bottom amongst some um, detritus and stuff and just uh, leaf litter uh, remains and stuff like that. But this tank will be the fifth tank of Tetra, and this is just going to be a fry grow out tank. So. Soon enough, I'm going to go ahead and collect all of the shrimp out of this tank. They're going to a, a fish store uh, for profit or probably for trade for some more 10-gallon aquariums. Uh, this, this tank will get scaped out uh, just like this tank over here. And it will just be, yeah, grow out for more blue tetras. Uh, so that's what's going on in here. So at this point, I'm really just focusing on my blue tetra breeding program. I also am going to be working more with my Kelly fish. And I have another video coming out about that. Um, I look forward to uh, setting these guys up with maybe a little bit bigger tank, but I am so happy to have these uh, Heterandra Formosa, these least Killies. I love my nano fish. Uh, they fit in really well with my blue tetras and everything else. Well, I want to say thank you to all of you, all of my viewers out there, all my subscribers, all of my Patreons, everyone that supports my channel. It means so much to me. It really, 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 really does. I appreciate all of it. It's the motivation that keeps me going on here and keeps me making content for you guys. So thank you so very much. And uh, remember, guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.